Hey guys, welcome to Genesis Cloud implementation. And in this video, we're going to set up our Genesis Cloud Contact Center with the proper uh, organizational settings. So this is our first lab in order to get it started with our uh, implementation, C uh, Genesis Cloud CX implementation, as well as the Contact Center. So starting with our admin menu, we're going to under account settings, go to organizations. So this is where you customize your, you know, company's details. So I'm going to say boys boot camp. Some advanced settings, which is the organization ID. Under settings, uh, geolocation detections, fine. Default country code, uh, United States. And any email that may issues arise you want to send it to voicebootcamp.com we can enable auto invite where you send invite to individual automatically or you can click on open invitations and you can support some of the domain that are allowed .com, gmail .com. so i have a few domain that i would like to add it just in case if we need to test some extra oh, one two three four these are some of the domain that i own that we could uh set it up uh included as, as far as the email domain uh telephony we're going to make sure we enable some telephony options voicemail pin which whether pin is always required for accessing voicemail we want to make sure our environment is secure right now, under authentication, this is where we're going to change our authentication settings where you can enable disable Genesis login. We're not going to do that. Uh, require multi-factor authentication if you want to secure it. Uh, any pop-up authentication uh, supported under embedded iframe. If you want, you can do that. Minimum length of the password, I'll set it to four. I don't want to, you know, uh, recall, make it too complicated. Uh, minimum lowercase letter. Sure, uppercase letter one. Let's see if zero is allowed. I want to like keep it as simple as possible. Password expiration, nope. Okay, site status. And as you can see, there is no status. Right now, only one divisions. These are predefined. We'll worry about this later. Okay, so that is our first lab in terms of configuring or, or anything that is related to organization make sure that yeah you know you if you want to secure your environment make sure you enable multi -fa multi-factor authentication you can you know configure some settings that may uh, fulfill your security requirement for your organizations all right so that's it for this particular lab and i'll see you in the next lab